Welcome to the 15th annual Doris Duke Historic Preservation Awards, coming to you from Rough Point Museum in Newport, Rhode Island. Thank you for joining us as we recognize and celebrate two noteworthy preservation projects from right here in Newport. Hello everyone, I'm Melissa Lozpone, Director of Preservation for the Newport Restoration Foundation. And I'm Helen Johnson, Preservation Planner for the City of Newport. On behalf of the board and staff of NRF, thank you for joining us. Many of you have joined us for the ceremony in the past, and you know that typically we would be gathering together to enjoy a lovely evening on the grounds of Rough Point. We are hopeful to renew this tradition next year and celebrate our honorees in person. This annual event is a collaboration of the Newport Restoration Foundation and the City of Newport. The awards recognize and celebrate preservation, restoration, and rehabilitation projects that help to protect the historic sites, landscapes, and overall character of Aquidneck Island. Tonight's award recipients were chosen by a committee comprised of representatives from NRF, the City of Newport, and individuals involved in historic preservation at the local and state levels. I'd like to thank all the committee members who assisted in selecting this year's honorees. As we all know, protecting our historic assets enriches and maintains Newport's sense of place and authentic historic character for now and for future generations. Newport has a remarkable built environment recognized as unique among American cities. This environment reflects architectural and social values over centuries of historical development, unequaled by any other city in the country. The City of Newport is happy to partner with the Newport Restoration Foundation to recognize the outstanding stewardship of historic resources exemplified by those receiving these awards tonight. The projects we are recognizing highlight the important role that private restoration plays in the overall preservation of Newport's historic landscape. The attention to detail and dedication to preservation best practices demonstrated by these two honorees should be an example to all. Before we get to the awards, we would like to take this opportunity to recognize our many sponsors and friends who continue to support our mission. With your partnership and generosity, we are able to have a significant impact on the quality of life here in Newport. And with that, let's present our first award. Our first award goes to St. John's Church, built in 1894 and located in the historic Point neighborhood here in Newport. We are recognizing St. John's for their exterior preservation efforts, particularly the roof and masonry restoration. This preservation work was necessary to complete in order to preserve this historic structure for many years to come. Let's hear from some of the key players who worked on the project and see the beautiful results. The tower at St. John's, as you come over the Newport Bridge, is the most prominent feature of Newport. It's 90 feet tall. You can't miss that from the water angle. And when the bells go off, the whole neighborhood here is it. So I have that connectivity with the neighborhood. St. John's has been a long project for us. I've been involved with this facility for over 30 years, essentially, over the little projects and larger projects. But this particular project, which we are honored to receive an award from Newport Restoration Foundation, was the major capital project of all the previous projects. The uh, impetus for the project uh, was uh, Father Humphrey's desire to take uh, back what we were losing over the years. So he initiated a capital campaign. And one of the first people he looked to was the uh, Aletta Morris McBean Fund. The main body of the church has been waiting for some TLC for a while. This type of preservation project is exactly in our company's wheelhouse. The first challenge was the clay roofing tiles and uh, the idea of preserving, or at least trying to preserve uh, more than half of the existing roof tiles 
So as you can see, it's not all totally uniform, but there's enough mix of the old and new on the roof now where most people wouldn't even notice that it's not all exactly the same. The brownstone copings on all the gables, we pulled all the caps up, installed new copper flashings, new dowels, and uh, replaced everything right back where it went to. The repointing of a stone wall like this takes a special skill. The right tools is the right mortar, but it's also the right hand. Pointing of a masonry is like handwriting. You can have a good handwriting and a bad handwriting, and a good mason has a good handwriting, and the, the masonry is basically like a piece of art that he's working on it. And so it's a freehand, um, sort of like old quill writing. So you have to know your tool and you be in charge of it and be able to express it. So they say that you can almost, masons can tell each other's work because it's different handwriting. I can't imagine, for me personally, a, a, a greater honor than having received awards like this, so. It is beautiful. It turned out so great. Congratulations to St. John's Church for this well-deserved award. Our second award is presented to Hendrik and Siobhan Kitts Van Hanigan for their exterior restoration of the Henrietta Lieber House built in 1882. This late 19th century house was designed by Newport architect Dudley Newton and is located in the K. Catherine Old Beach National Register Historic District. The home had been in the Kitts Van Hanigan family since the mid 1960s but had fallen into disrepair following the passing of Hendrick's grandparents. When Hendrick and Siobhan assumed ownership, they researched and reproduced the character-defining features of the house, restoring the exterior to its original historic appearance. So I think the story begins in 2019. We moved back to Rhode Island. I never considered this house maybe to be an option, but we toward it and Siobhan absolutely fell in love with the house. The woodwork on the interior, the attention to detail, the craftsmanship, and these one-of-a-kind windows that we have, um, I just took one look and I knew that this is where we were meant to be. <laughs> I had a sentimental attachment to the house. My grandparents bought the house in 1964. I had a lot of fond memories as a child visiting here, seeing my grandmother out on the porch. I love the Catherine Kay neighborhood. Um, and then looking at this house and seeing, I saw a diamond in the rough, really. I mean, there's just so much to love, all the, the attention to detail that was um, given on, you know, they don't even, they don't make trim like you see on these old homes anymore. The house had been abandoned for a few years, so there was some broken windows. Some of the um, architectural detail in the front of the house had been lost. Um, the original uh, balcony had been extended in the 70s, um, so it sort of threw off the front balance of the, the front elevation. So Mark Fontaine, who was our designer on the project, did an incredible job where we had all damaged pieces of molding. He would take cross sections of it, and we had we went to Whetstone Millworks and created kind of the exact profile of our very detailed and very elaborate um, exterior molding. This, for example, was the window casing, also a very detailed piece that goes around to all the, the mullion windows and the single windows. We had, um, you know, sort of cheap generic balusters um, when we purchased the house, um, but we wanted something that was more stylistically appropriate with a Queen Anne shingle style. Um, so we used the old pitcher and we were able to recreate pretty closely um, yeah. what it probably would have looked like. So the windows were something that I think grew on us in the beginning. At first it was like, oh my God, we have, you know, these are old historic windows. The designs, the Munton shapes and the patterns, especially on our top sashes, are just unbelievable. We have 66 windows in this house, 110 sashes. Then you have the jams and you have the window stops, you have the parting beads that were missing, we had to fabricate those. You had the weights that were thrown out. So that was a fun project where we had to go and kind of take all the weights together, label them all after weighing them and kind of figure out which weight goes with which sash. Preservation is a huge part of this town. You have the, you know, the colonial section, you have the Victorian sections, and it's, it's a great honor for us to be included in that kind of, to get an award for our work especially in this neighborhood. I just knew this is something that, you know, we, we could bring back to life and, you know, make this a home that we could live in for a long time.
Congratulations to Hendrik and Siobhan for their extraordinary attention to detail in restoring this remarkable home. We have been thrilled to honor these two very deserving projects. We hope you have enjoyed this program. Thank you for joining us this year. We look forward to being able to see each and every one of you in person again next year. As we leave you, please allow us a moment to again recognize our many sponsors and friends who continue to support the mission of the Newport Restoration Foundation. If you believe in the work we do, we hope you will consider supporting us as well. Thank you.